Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. Today's lesson is on the structure of a short story. So let's get started. What is a short story? It is a brief narrative containing few characters, simple plot, conflict, and suspense, which leads to a climax and a swift conclusion. There are five elements in a short story. We have characters, setting, conflict, theme, and plot. Let's talk about them. The characters. There, there can be people, animals, things involved in the plot, obviously. And it's not limited to humans, so that means that it could be, um, uh, like I said, animals, plants that talk, uh, monsters, uh, etc. Talking animals, uh, fantasy animals, etc. Now, the protagonist. The protagonist is the main character, usually the good guy. The antagonist is the opposite. That means the, the one that creates conflict for the main character, usually the bad guy. So there we have Nemo. He was a protagonist. Cinderella, protagonist. And what about Joker? Yeah, in Batman, he was the antagonist. But we saw a movie recently where the, the Joker was the protagonist. So be careful. Now the setting, it is the time. So when and where it happens. So time of day, season, present, past, future. The location, so where. Country, planet, town, buildings, etc. It helps create the mood and atmosphere of a story. So there we have a picture of the past. We have a landscape, maybe in Canada. And we have a city in the future. So the conflict. The main problem the protagonist is trying to solve. Something troubling or bad that has happened in the story. Conflicts are usually resolved at the end of the story. So, zap! Wow, it's a woman and fighting a man there. That's a conflict. So, types of conflicts. We have man versus man. For example, in the movies uh, Batman and Superman, they fight uh, the antagonist, right? Man versus nature, Titanic or tornado. Man versus himself, for example, in the movie Joker or Lion King. Man versus society, also in the Joker and in Robin Hood, for example. There can be many types of conflict in the story. So you can have man versus man, man, man versus himself, and man versus society in one story or other types of conflicts in a story. So many conflicts in a single story. So the theme, what the author wants you to learn or know, a broad idea about life, usually not stated, must be guessed. So examples, be good to everyone, don't be greedy, power corrupts, love takes faith, etc. So the plot. And here where it is where it gets interesting in the story. The plot consists of five parts. Introduction or exposition, also called, is the setting, the background, and the characters in your story. The rising action, that's the conflict, the suspense in the story. Climax, the highest point of the story, the deciding factor. Fall in action, protagonist completes the action, and the resolution is the final end, the solution of the story. Let's break it down, let's uh, talk about each single one. But before, let me show you the plot diagram. Okay, this is a plot diagram, and uh, usually we complete it in class, um, so you, you can complete it by looking at it. So the exposition is the first part of the story. This is like a mountain, so we need to go up in the story 
that's the rising action where the suspense cre it is created. Then the, the, the climax is the highest point of your story, the turning point. Then we have the falling action and that's where uh, the, climax, the climax and the highest point of the story is resolved. And then the solution, the end of the story, um, is called also the resolution. Now, let's break it up into different parts. So the introduction, the exposition. This is where you must introduce the setting, so when and where, the background, a set of events created for the plot, preceding and leading up to the plot, the characters, we talked about the protagonist, protagonists, also antagonist or antagonists, is your choice, okay? The characters of the story. Then we have the rise in action. It is a series of significant incidents that produce suspense, interest and tension in a narrative. In literary works, a rise in action includes all decisions, characters' flaws and background situations that together create turns and twists leading to a climax. And that's where we're getting to. So climax. It is often identified as the highest point of interest in a story. At this point, the conflict is at the highest point of tension. The falling action, it happens right after the climax, when the main problem of the story resolves. Falling action ends the short story, resolves the unanswered questions, and leads toward the closure. So the resolution, this is the closure of the story. It is where the main problem is resolved. The resolution occurs after the fall in action and is typically where the story ends. Well, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions, please type them under this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Like the video if you liked it and share it. Until next time, bye-bye.